I do research on fungal diseases of blueberries. And so one of the major diseases I work on is called mummyberry disease. The University of Maine is a land-grant university founded in 1862 and is located in the small town of Orono, Maine. The university first started as an agricultural school and is now one of the biggest employers in the state with hundreds of professors and professional staff. The University of Maine system interacts extensively with the people of Maine. Here in the Annis Fungal Pathology Lab, we deal with research involving the wild blueberry of Maine. Dr. Shauna Annis, our professor of mycology here at the university, is a plant pathologist. We decided to choose as our central theme of plant pathology the extension services provided to the public at large. Our case study deals with the cooperative extension here at the University of Maine, first started in 1912, and how it affects local farmers and growers around the state. To find out more about cooperative extension, we asked David Yarborough, cooperative extension specialist on wild blueberries. Uh, we have about 60,000 acres of wild blueberries, so the educational program is designed to bring research-based knowledge uh, from the university and also from other information we get from other universities and Canadians uh, to the blueberry growers. do have another component uh, with the public. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of times the public will have questions on uh, pesticide issues or where can I get blueberries or how can I grow wild blueberries. It, it, it shows value to the university because uh, doing the research is one end, but research doesn't do any good unless the growers are aware of it and adopt it. To see firsthand how the Cooperative Extension interacts with the blueberry growers of Maine, we traveled with Shauna Annis and David Yarborough to their monthly twilight meeting. Here the professionals explain methods for managing weeds, preventing fungal pathogens, and controlling insects. Afterwards, we were able to interview some of the growers to see if the information was useful to them. How often do you come to these meetings? Every time? I try to come every time. Yep. Um, do you use the information provided? That? Absolutely. Absolutely. Cooperative Extension. Uh, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be producing what I'm doing. You use the information. Oh yeah. All the time. Real helpful. Real. Are you a blueberry grower? Yes, sir. Um, do you use the cooperative extension service provided by the university? Yes. Do you use their information? Oh yeah. You I do. do? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I try to pass it on to the um, people that I scout for. The cooperative extension service is helpful in connecting research done by pathologists to nearly anyone in the state. Here in Maine, research done at the university benefits local and commercial wild blueberry growers. Without the farmers and growers, we plant pathologists wouldn't have much research to do. Do you think cooperative extension and the research and getting that knowledge out to the public is an important part of being a plant pathologist? Yes. Yes, I definitely think it is. Um, really, if we... Uh, basic research definitely has its role for developing and coming up with the information but definitely a part of um, being a plant pathologist in particularly in my position is to pass that information on and also help um, translate the information from more basic research from scientific journal articles and that and put it into a form that's coherent for the growers to understand and be able to apply that to their fields. After our interviews, we asked our participants one word and asked them to say the first word or phrase that they thought of. Plant. Disease. Pathology. Fun. Um, cooperative. Extension. Plant. Plant. Blueberry. Wild Patho blue should be wild blueberry, I guess. Pathology. <laughs> Mummyberry. Um, cooperative. Extension. Extension. <laughs> uh, education. Plant. Disease. Pathology. Disease. Cooperative. Oh, you already set me up. Extension.